I like trains. I made that statement the last time I was here at the Chiang Mai railway station, headed back to Bangkok, the way I am presently. And my daughter back in the States, Christina, picked up on that phrase. It was said within the context of talking about where I was and where I was going. But Christina reminded me that my grandson, when he was a young boy, really liked trains. And this actually reminds me of one of the toy sets that I think I bought him on my daughter's recommendation, Thomas the Train, but that was back really young. When he was more like uh, 10 or 11 years old, he was uh, into a YouTube channel, a guy named Thomas Aska. And my statement that I like trains triggered a memory for my daughter. And she went and dug this up. I like trains. Now that very brief little short video I thought was hysterical and it really inspired me because at the time I was just beginning to post short videos myself on TikTok and I was kind of inspired by that so I decided to make a version of my own inspired by Thomas Scott. I like trains and I learned from Thomas Scott that you can take a very short moment in time and put a video in it, an idea basically, and maybe set it to music or make a joke and put up some amusing stuff in just a flash of time. Now, it'd be really hard to make anything very meaningful in a little short video like that. So if you're looking at short videos, it's best to have a sense of humor. I think that train went on a diet. So I'm here once again at the Chiang Mai Railway Station on my way back to Bangkok. My overnight train leaves in about 90 minutes. I came a little early to shoot a little video. Truth is, I do like train travel. Right now, the wind is picking up. There are storm clouds gathering. And if I were at the airport, that would have ominous implications. But here at the train station, it means, well, maybe I'll have to turn on the windshield wipers whole different set of circumstances when you take the train. I also learned from Thomas Aska that animation helps. You can cram a whole lot of in information into an animation. So I've been diving down the rabbit hole of Adobe software and one of these days coming up, I will present some animations of my own. Now, I'm not one of those train-loving, train-spotting kind of guys that knows the make and model and route and history of trains everywhere. There are guys like that. I've seen them on YouTube. I just kind of like uh, the relaxing feel of riding a train when I have the time 
to do so. You know, if I'm going, it gets you to where you want to go uh, in a relaxed and easy fashion. Now, it does take a hell of a long time at times. As a matter of fact, when I go to the States in, uh, in January, I plan a cross-country trip on one of the northern routes of, uh, of Amtrak in the wintertime through the Rocky Mountains. I'm looking forward to that. That should be a fun trip. But between now and then, I'm just going to sit back and relax on my train ride and head back to Bangkok, where I'm going to look for amusing stories back in my Bangkok crazy house full of Thai cuties and other interesting anecdotes around the region. And I hope to continue to produce photographs, videos, and shorts to be putting up for your enjoyment. See you then.